Welcome to Movement and Function. I'm Beth Wagner. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some breathing exercises and talking about the best time to breathe during performance of other exercises too. So the, the benefits of proper breathing are vast. I wanna mention just a couple things today um, just to point out how important it is to have a good breathing pattern. The first one I wanna mention is nervous system equilibrium. This means that it helps to keep our nervous system functioning properly so that we're resting when we should be resting and that we're able to move the way we need to move when it's necessary for our daily function. Proper breathing helps our nervous system relax. So it helps to decrease our stress levels and it helps us to be able to sleep better digest better, and overall function better. The second thing is related to hormone balance. When we're stressed out, we release a stress hormone called cortisol. And what we tend to experience is rapid, shallow breathing associated with that. So by consciously slowing our breathing and focusing on how we're breathing, it helps to decrease the release of the stress hormone cortisol and it helps to overall restore balance in our hormones. The third one I wanna talk about today is pain relief. I'm sure many of you have noticed that when you're in pain, we tend to stop breathing or breathe really shallow. And this is counterproductive to relieving pain. So again, by focusing on our breathing, we're able to decrease the pain by restoring normal balance in our nervous system. With a balanced nervous system, the pain message is diminished. So breathing exercises can help decrease pain, restore normal hormone balance, and help our nervous systems function properly. And that can help us in absolutely every aspect of our life. So let's go ahead and get into the breathing exercises. These exercises can be done sitting up or lying down. I recommend if you're new to breathing exercises, start doing them lying down. You'll be able to be more relaxed and really feel what's going on better in your body. As you get more and more comfortable with them lying down, then start to do them sitting up. You might even find you could do them while you're at work or watching TV or any other time when you're actually in the middle of doing something else but have a little break. You could spend a minute or two doing some breathing exercises and feel like you've hit the reset button for yourself in the middle of your day. So I'm gonna demonstrate them lying down. You wanna start by lying down in a comfortable position with a medium amount of pillow support so that the space behind your neck is supported without your head tilting down too far or being pushed up uh, too high out in the air. Next, you wanna have your legs in a comfortable position. I suggest with your knees bent and your feet flat um, on the surface. You could also try this with um, pillows underneath your legs. Try a couple of different positions and see what feels best for you. All right, the next thing you wanna do is take one hand and put it on your chest, the other hand on your abdomen, and simply breathe. Do Take about 10 breaths um, of, at just your natural pace, so they're not too deep, but they're also not shallow. So medium length breath, and just see what you feel underneath your hands. Be aware of how much the hand on your chest is rising and falling with each breath. And the same thing with the hand on your abdomen. This will give you a good indication of where your lungs are expanding with each breath. Some people are naturally more chest breathers and other people are naturally more belly breathers. As you inhale, try breathing in through the nose and as you exhale, breathe out through your mouth. Now the next step is to accentuate the breath in each area of your lungs. So you'll start with your hands in the same position again. This time as you inhale, think of actually inhaling through the top of your lungs, all the way up in the top of your chest and even into your shoulders and neck. So really try to make the hand on your chest rise and fall. Try to keep the hand on your abdomen fairly still. And do 10 breaths. Now we're going to gradually bring our breath lower toward the belly. Now we wanna feel that your mid chest is rising and falling right through the middle of your ribs. 10 breaths again. Taking your breath farther down into your abdomen 
Now we want to feel the hand on your abdomen rise and fall with very little movement underneath the hand on your chest. So we want this to be a full belly breath. In and out. 10 breaths. Now the final stage is probably the hardest one to visualize, but it gets easier with practice. If you think of your lungs as these dynamic bags of air, they aren't just in the front from the, the top of your chest to your abdomen. They're also in the sides and your back. So rest your hands here and visualize and feel your lungs expanding through your sides and your back. And again, take 10 breaths in and out. Now the next step is to vary the pace of your breathing. As we work on breathing pace, keep your hands on your chest and your abdomen. Try to focus on the breath coming from your abdomen and in order to focus on more of a diaphragmatic breathing pattern. This can be very helpful for relaxation. So first try an even pace of your inhale and your exhale. So try 1001, 1002 on your inhale and 1001, 1002 on your exhale. Feel free to adjust that to be a little faster or a little slower based on what feels most natural to you. Now try elongating the exhale. So try 1001, 1002 on an inhale and then a count of three on your exhale. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 on your exhale. If that feels comfortable, try to extend it even farther. 1,001, 1,002 on the inhale and go all the way to 1,004 on your exhale. Play with these different paces and see what feels best for you. Make sure that you're not breathing too heavy or too deep. I don't want you to hyperventilate and end up getting dizzy as you're doing these exercises. So try and pace yourself well. I'd like to wrap up this video by sharing some variations in breathing pattern while you're doing other exercises. In general, I recommend exhaling during the exertion part of the exercise. It's typically the first movement of the exercise. And then inhale when you return to your starting position. So for example, if I'm doing a bicep curl, very simple exercise. Exhale as you do the curl. Inhale as you lower back down. Now, try that out and see how it feels. Now, there is one major caveat to that, and that is if you're doing any exercise that involves compression or, or crunching through your abdomen and your trunk. In that case, you want to exhale while your trunk is compressing and inhale as your trunk is opening. And that's simply because we don't want our lungs to be expanding as our trunk is compressing. That combination can cause a great deal of stress on the lumbar spine and it can actually lead to some injury in the lumbar spine. So be sure if you're doing any compression type uh, movement through your trunk that you're exhaling as you're doing that. It'll feel natural. When you compress your trunk, the, the lungs are compressed and kind of makes you exhale. So follow that natural breathing pattern when you're doing those types of exercises. I hope the information and the exercises in this video have been helpful for you. I'd love to hear your comments and any questions you might have after going through these exercises. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, click the bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss when I release my next video. And it's always nice to see a thumbs up. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.